In April 1958, Iris King was sworn in as the first lady to be elected mayor of Kingston. Before the elections, scores of people crammed into the space to be a part of this historic event to cheer on Mrs. King, who was dressed in a lemon-colored dress with a white hat. In her victory speech, Mrs. King said with humility, she knows she has created history in not only Jamaica, but throughout the entire West Indies. She also expressed her desire to be an inspiration so that all women in Jamaica would come out and do their share for the good of the country. But even before this election, Mrs. King was engaged in politics. She got into Jamaican party politics in 1938 when she became active in campaigning for the newly formed PNP. In 1947, she became a counselor for the Kingston and St. Andrew Corporation, but left that position to move to the United States to further her studies at the Roosevelt University in Chicago. After receiving political science and public administration degrees, Mrs. King returned to Jamaica well qualified in 1955 and went back to working in politics. She became a candidate for PMP in that general election. After her loss to Hugh Scherer, she returned to municipal politics and was elected as counselor for the KSAC. Months after her election as mayor, Mrs. King was invited to the United States. Among the many recognitions, Mrs. King was given the key to the city of Washington, D.C. Her time in the United States also enabled her to meet influential people. On her visit to Hollywood, she met the famous black actress, Dorothy Dandridge. But Mrs. King also experienced racism that was prevalent throughout the United States. In the African-American published Jet Magazine article titled, Kentucky Drug Store Snubs Visiting Jamaica Mayor, she responded to the bad treatment. Mrs. King said she was insulted when she asked for a cup of coffee at the drugstore and was told, we don't serve colored people. Although she received an apology from the acting mayor, Mrs. King said she had no future desire to return to the southern states. As mayor of Kingston, Mrs. King handed out awards to many Jamaicans. But those awards did not outshine her kindness and compassion for the underprivileged, especially in Western Kingston. She worked with the Maxfield Park Children's Home to expand and develop offerings for children. Mrs. King returned to representational politics in 1959, where she finally defeated her JLP opponent to win the Kingston West Central seat. For that victory, Prime Minister Norman Manley included her in the PNP cabinet. Mrs. King ended her political career in 1967 
and migrated permanently to the United States. <music>